All right, let's take a look at a couple of the forms that I've created. Now I haven't actually used Intake Queue's service of, of creating one of my paper forms into their format because I started with this, but if you have existing forms, then that would be an easy way to get them created, but it's really not that hard. Let's take a look at the patient information form. I have four basic questions on that and I'll just show you briefly here there's uh, basically an instruction here that says please enter your demographic information and under date of birth and everything else there's uh, a place to enter that we'll take a look at what it would what it would look like from their standpoint and they can just enter that in and the great thing is you can require certain fields to be filled out or not and it gives them kind of a progress here on the where they're at so it's it's very professional looking when they click submit form I will be notified of that also those are up here the notifications and even when they start filling it out I am notified and if they never do click submit but they get everything filled in there I actually can still pull their information up. Submit is just nice because on their end they know they've done it. Let's take a look at the consent forms because this is a nice feature too. I have two consent forms that I have basically attached to uh, this intake form. So for my patient information form I have a informed consent for Tom Cruise PT services and financial policy and insurance claims. So Let's take a look at that. If I go up here to consent forms, if we go back and take a look at the consent forms, these are just things that you can free text or you can copy and paste from something you already have. I enabled the e-signature, which I think is a great feature so they don't have to print off and sign. And this is what that looks like. If they're on a tablet, they can draw it so it would it always looks a little bit awkward but if they type it it gives them the ability to do that and when you submit signature you're basically saying that this is my signature so that's fairly standard in in a lot of different industries now and it's nice to bring that technology into what I'm doing back to my forms I wanted to show you the Oswestry form. So you've got your 10 different areas here. And if you break down each section, I created a multiple choice single answer and put put each uh, possibility underneath here. I did that for for each one of them. If I click preview on that, you can see what it looks like, pain intensity. Uh, if they click one and they decide they want to click another, it just changes that doesn't let it doesn't let them choose more than one and you've got all 10 sections there and then you can click submit they could they could fill it by out by hand if they really wanted to print the blank form uh, I, most people just fill it out online obviously if they've got that far but there is that option all right so back to my forms you can see I've I've messed around with several different test forms and and I, I basically I, I submit to Medicare so I have a special Medicare intake form and then I use a patient in information form for everybody else and I have those consent forms attached to both of these so that's a huge time saver and I've just got really good feedback from clients that use that and are surprised by how seamless it works